John Cameron Quake. Ed Huntley. David Brink. John Chancellor. Tom Brokaw. Terror attack out of nowhere. A direct hit on U.S. and Iraqi soldiers in a crowded dining hall. Dozens killed and wounded. Tonight, how could it happen? Reports from the scene and the home front. Lifeline, those reports that a leave could hurt your heart. Tonight, a reality check and a question. Is the government doing a good job protecting your health? Bad company, new details about the man who almost became America's top cop. Tonight, a former friend talks about money and some explosive new allegations. And card sharks, the nation's poker face is getting younger and younger. It's a hot holiday craze, and many worry these kids don't know when to fold them. From NBC News World Headquarters in New York, this is NBC Nightly News with Brian Williams. Good evening. They were gathered in a tent at lunchtime, the mess hall on a U.S. Army base in Mosul. Just a second later, two dozen were dead and scores were wounded. At last report from the Pentagon, at least 15 Americans have been killed, along with several Iraqis, over 60 injured. The loss of these souls four days from Christmas will mean an unbearable knock on the door at homes across this country. Today, the president mourned their loss while millions of Americans received a graphic and ugly reminder of the strength of this insurgency in this war that is far from over. We begin tonight with NBC's Tom Aspel in Iraq. A brazen attack on a clear, bright day. A massive blast sending a fireball through the top of the tent, blowing soldiers out of their seats. Pools of blood and over... The U.S. once had 20,000 troops in Mosul to keep the city peaceful. Today, there are fewer than 5,000, and the city appears to be sliding into chaos. Brian? Tom Aspel tonight in Iraq. Thanks. There were soldiers in that tent this morning from Maine, from Virginia, but many were from Washington State, the huge facility at Fort Lewis, where tonight a dark cloud covers the entire base as the families wait for word on who's not coming home. NBC's George Lewis is there tonight. Outside the gates of Fort Lewis, the two journalists from a rich Richmond newspaper were embedded with the group that was hit today. One, as Tom Aspel just reported at the top of the broadcast, was Richmond Times dispatch photographer Dean Hoffmeyer. He took many of the photos we've been seeing today. The other, staff writer Jeremy Redman. Both witnessed and survived the attack. Redman gave us this account of what happened in his own words. We were with two soldiers from that unit getting our food. In fact, I was in the line uh, with some spaghetti. Hey, under scrutiny, policing the drug police, NBC News in depth for this Tuesday night. Then later, kids playing poker. They see it on TV. Perhaps there are chips and dice under the tree this year, but is there a downside? The bans and the warnings that have left millions of Americans wondering what's actually safe to take. Tonight, what does FDA approval really mean? And more critics are asking, has the Food and Drug Administration lost its way? In depth tonight, here is NBC's Tom Costello. Dr. Jerry Avorn wears many hats at Harvard University, a veteran medic. Up next, an interview with a man at the center of Bernard Carrick's failed nomination for Homeland Security Secretary. Boys are making a comeback. NBC Nightly News tomorrow. A follow-up tonight to a story we've been reporting here on Nightly News. The Tenet Healthcare Corporation has agreed to pay $395 million to hundreds of patients who claim they received unnecessary heart surgeries at one of Tenet's California hospitals, a hospital Tenet has since sold. Tonight, the spectacular fall of Bernard Carrick continues. He was once the president's nominee to run Homeland Security. Now, even those once close to him are talking about what they call the troubled private life of the former head of the NYPD. Carrick's critics include a man who was best man at his wedding. This week, he's expected to tell his story to New York City public corruption watchdogs. NBC News senior investigative correspondent Lisa Myers has an exclusive interview tonight. 1999. Then New York City Corrections Commissioner Bernie Carrick offers a birthday toast to his friend, Larry Ray. Uh, he's someone... C News, Washington. 
On Wall Street today, a dynamic traders call the Santa Claus rally sent the blue chips to their highest close in three and a half years. The Dow was up just under 98 points to 10,759. NASDAQ was up 23 points to 2,150, less than 12 points shy of last week's multi-year high. When we come back after a break, the game of poker, it's everywhere these days, but is that a losing hand for young children? NBC Nightly News with Brian Williams, brought to you in part by Aflac. Ask about it at work. If you watch a lot of cable TV, then you know there are times, usually at night, when it seems like 10 different channels are airing poker games, some pro, some celebrity, all of them contributing to a kind of poker fever right now in this country. It's big with kids. Poker-related gifts are big this Christmas. But since it's all based on betting, some are sounding a big warning. Here is NBC's Kerry Sanders. Great. Across the nation, it's on NBC News, Miami. Finally tonight, something to think about as we go off the air this evening. On this day that saw the loss of so many American soldiers in Iraq, some of them were from the 276th Engineer Battalion in Virginia. It dates back to 1652. Among its early commanders, George Washington and Patrick Henry, who gave the unit its motto, Liberty or Death. That choice has defined their mission ever since, and it did again today. That is NBC Nightly News for this Tuesday, December 21st, 2004. I'm Brian Williams reporting tonight from New York. We'll look for you right back here tomorrow night. Good night. Nightly News is a presentation of NBC News. More Americans watch NBC News than any other news organization in the world. I'm Tom Cameron Quaid. Is that Huntley? David Brinkman, John Chancellor. Tom Brokaw.